Nottingham has the highest COVID-19 infection rate in UK. Documents have been leaked earlier today indicating that new social distancing rules for Nottinghamshire are due to be announced on Monday. Thousands protest against omnibus law on jobs. Rallies took place around the country. Hundreds were arrested in Jakarta. Hundreds more have been held in strikes and protest in other cities this week. Hello, good evening and welcome to BBC News at 10 with me, Nolando Martin. Nottingham has the highest COVID-19 infection rate in UK. Public Health England figures show that 689.1 per 100,000 people tested positive for the virus in the city over the past week. Documents have been leaked earlier today indicating that new social distancing rules for Nottinghamshire are due to be announced on Monday. Local politicians have criticised the delay in imposing restrictions. Nottingham City Council leader David Mellon said the government's lack of action on new measures in Nottingham makes absolutely no sense and that strict interventions are needed urgently. In the week up to 5th October, Nottingham recorded 2,294 cases, up from 407, which was from the previous week. Earlier, the County Council said the rate of infection for Nottinghamshire was 106 per 100,000 people, which is much lower than the rate in Nottingham. Although the government has yet to introduce formal measures, Local authorities have asked people in the county to avoid mixing indoors with other households indoors following the dramatic rise in cases. Nottingham's Director of Public Health, Alison Challenger, said everyone needs to stick rigidly to their social bubble and not mix up with other households. In other news, thousands of Indonesians protest against omnibus law on jobs. Tens of thousands of Indonesians have protested for a third day against a controversial law that critics say will harm workers and the environment. Rallies took place around the country. Hundreds were arrested in Jakarta. Hundreds more have been held in strikes and protests in other cities this week. The so-called Omnibus Jobs Creation Bill became law on Monday. The government says the changes are needed to help its economy, which has been hit hard by the COVID-19 pandemic. Demonstrations have gathered steam in the capital Jakarta and other cities such as Bandung on Wednesday and Thursday, right after relatively peaceful protests earlier in the week. Indonesian police detained at least 400 protesters including some who were allegedly armed with Molotov cocktails and sharp weapons. The bill, which is over 1,000 pages long and amends 79 existing laws, was passed with the support of seven out of nine parties. The bill is aimed at relaxing Indonesia's complex web of business, labour and environmental law in an attempt to attract investment and stimulate the economy. In an interview in January, President Joko Widodo told the BBC News that the law is about removing red tape and opening the economy to more foreign investment. Let's talk about the new project. It's the Omnibus Law and it's very wide ranging. It's meant to attract foreign investment. What's the vision behind this? Kita ingin pertama menyederhanakan perizinan. Kita juga pengen menyederhanakan birokrasi kita ingin kecepatan sehingga diperlukan sebuah harmonisasi undang-undang sehingga muncul kecepatan itu muncul kecepatan pelayanan muncul kecepatan dalam membuat kebijakan sehingga Indonesia akan bisa lebih cepat dalam setiap merespon perubahan-perubahan dunia yang ada dan kita ingin melayani that's all for BBC News at 10 with me, Nolando Martin. Thank you so much for watching and see you again soon at 10pm from every Monday to Wednesday. Goodbye and have a nice evening.